Hi, in this video I have prepared two multiply choice questions for you. And as usual I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, answers, choose your correct answer. And when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And here is the first question. Humans normally have 46 chromosomes in skin cells. How many autosomes would be expected in a kidney cell? And here is the five answers to choose from. And normally we have uh, 23 pairs of chromosomes, 23 from the father side, and 23 chromosomes from the mother side. So the total number would be 46 chromosomes. And uh, autosomes would be all the chromosomes except uh, sex chromosomes. And we have two sex chromosomes, that is X and Y chromosome. And another set can be X, X. So this set defines male and this set defines female. So autosomes would be all the chromosomes except uh, these two chromosomes. So the total number of autosomes would be 44. And this is answer D. Next uh, statement. A locus is best defined as, and here is a five answers to choose from. Answer A, an alternative form of the gene. B, uh, the position of the gene on the chromosome. C, the cellular structure composed of DNA and protein, D, a fertilized egg, and E, the place on the chromosome where spindle fibers attach. And I would start uh, from the end of this list and place on the chromosome where spindle fibers attach, we call centromere. So imagine that we have two sister chromatids that connected at centromere and uh, spindle fibers would attach to the centromere and during um, cell division would pull these two chromosomes or sister chromatids apart and when they would be pulled apart these two sister chromatids become um, chromosomes and this centromere has uh, also kinetochore center to which the spindle binders attach. So this is not uh, a correct answer, so we can cross out this answer. Answer D, a fertilized egg we call zygote, so this is also incorrect answer, so we can cross out it. Uh, answer C. A cellular structure composed of DNA and protein we call nucleus, so we can cross out this answer also. And now we're left with uh, two answers. Answer A. An alternative form of the gene we call allele. So we're left with only one correct answer, that is a locus is best defined as the position of a gene on a chromosome. So position or location, so this is our correct answer, answer B. And this is all for today, thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video, goodbye.